Welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen. I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss and it is time for my April favorites. I have so many favorite things. Everything from beauty, makeup, WW foods, tons of WW foods, household. I have it all. I have so many new favorites and things that I've been loving during the month of April. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because I do a favorites every month and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link all of my favorites. Everything with the exception of things you can buy at your local grocery store. Anything else will be linked in the description box. Any discount codes, the lowest price, I'll find it and I'll put it at the top of the description box for you for easy shopping. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I myself followed to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So I have a lot of favorites. Let's jump in. So I have one decor favorite. It's actually on the wall here in my office. These are some shelves that I picked up a while ago in one of my What I Eat In A Day videos off of Amazon. And I use these shelves to store my perfume. I love these. They were super affordable. They're really nice quality. And I love that they have the lip on them. And you can also flip them the other way if you want that lip to be down. You can hang a towel from it. The shelves are really, really nice quality. They come in different colors, different wood grains. I love them. I'm so glad that I picked them up. I think it's nice and aesthetic in my office and it's a great place for me to store my fragrance. I love perfume, so I always have several on hand and it's just a really nice aesthetic way to store them. You could really store anything on these shelves. They're floating, they're easy to install. I love them. So I wanted to share them with you if you missed that What I Eat In A Day video and I'll link them down below because like I said, I just picked them up right off of Amazon. I also have lots and lots of WW food favorites for you. I try tried a lot of new things this last month, things that I really, really have fallen in love with. So we're gonna start with WW Food Faves. First are these. Now these are from Trader Joe's. These are the tiniest chocolate chip cookies. Now what I picked these up for was to use as a topping or a mix-in. So sometimes I'll add these to my yogurt bowl for a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of cookie, a little bit of crunch. But what I really love these for is to mix into my Ninja Creamy protein ice cream. Or if you like to make nice cream in your blender, this is a great thing to just add in for some crunch, some texture, and some chocolate. You can actually have an entire third of a cup of these for 120 calories. Now they literally are the tiniest cookie. Look how cute these are. They're so crunchy, they're so chocolatey. I really, really like these. Again, they're just a great thing to top yogurt bowls or ice cream with. You can also eat these on their own if you're wanting a little something sweet, a little cookie moment. You can have a serving of these for 120 calories. And then these I picked up at Whole Foods and I really like these. So thank you to everybody who's mentioned these in the past. I definitely want to try some of the other flavors, but these are the Saint Amour, Saint Amour Rock and Rolls and I picked mine up in almond. These are French munchy cookie bites. They're vegan, low fat, cholesterol free, and they're low in sugar. So a serving of these is 110 calories. These are really good. They're crunchy. They kind of remind me of like an almond biscotti. This is what they look like. They're just little bite-sized cookies and you get quite a few of them in a serving. And like I said, they're very crunchy like a biscotti. I've been really liking these. They satisfy a sweet tooth for low calorie, low point and low sugar. Next up is this protein powder from Devotion. Now you know that I really love Devotion for baking. Devotion isn't my favorite protein powder for protein shakes and things like that, but I love it for baking. Well, this new flavor has become a staple for me in making a fruit dip. This is the salted caramel cone protein powder. It's delicious. Now I have not tried this in a protein shake. If you have, let us know down below, but I've used this mixed in with yogurt. I've also made a dip out of this and that's using cottage cheese or Greek yogurt, the protein powder, and then you can dip your favorite fruit in there. I love apples, bananas dipped in here. 
so good. It's just a really good way to get in a lot of protein in a fruit dip. This salted caramel cone is probably my favorite flavor from Devotion. I actually just bought a two pack when Devotion had a sale because I wanted to try it out and I definitely can see myself purchasing the tub. I really, really like this new flavor. I do have a discount for Devotion. It's the discount I used when I made my order. So I'll link it down below for you, but definitely pick up this flavor. Another thing I've been loving is something I picked up from Nutrition. So I've been ordering different snacks from Nutrition's website and then we've been doing taste tests in my what I eat in a day videos. I actually did a whole taste test a couple of what I eat in day what I eat in a days ago. That's a tongue twister. And I actually bought this Catalina Crunch pairings. I bought the blueberry one last month. Loved it. And I saw that they had the honey nut cereal with almonds. This is so good. This is honey bunches of oats with protein. It is so good. The almonds are roasted to perfection. It's little slivered almonds. Here's what it looks like. It is the perfect pairing of almond and honey. And what I love about Catalina Crunch is one half of a cup is only 150 calories and 10 grams of protein. You know, I love to put this on my yogurt bowl. It's just another great way to add a crunch, especially if I'm trying to up my protein. If I pick a yogurt and I add Catalina Crunch to it, I can get a good amount of protein. And this replaces granola and other toppings that don't have protein. I love Catalina Crunch. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. I do have a discount on the Catalina Crunch website. And again, you can purchase it off of Nutrition along with Fiber Gourmet Pasta. I have some other Nutrition snacks I'll share with you. And I do, do have a discount for Nutrition as well. So I'll put it all down below for you. But these pairings are incredible. I definitely hope they come out with some more. Speaking of yogurt, this has been my jam this spring and summer. And this is the Too Good Meyer Lemon Yogurt. This is so good. This is the best yogurt Too Good makes. It is the perfect tartness and sweetness. This is amazing with fresh blueberries and the Catalina Crunch cereal on it. Oh my gosh, it's so incredibly good. It's so bright and delicious for the warmer months. It is a seasonal flavor, so it's not around year round, so grab it while you can. You won't be sorry. It is so good, and two good yogurts have nice clean ingredients, and it even has 12 grams of protein. And I picked these up a while ago at Sprouts, and these are really good. This is from the brand Midi Kids, and these are the Blueberry Muffin Super Bites. Now there's five servings per package, each of these little bites is 90 calories and three grams of protein and one gram of fiber. These are the perfect little bite for on the go or if you want to add them to a snack plate for some healthy carbohydrates, a little bit of protein, a little bit of fiber, this is what they look like. So they're pretty good sized, nice clean ingredients. They're actually vegan, nut and gluten free. So good, perfect ingredients, just the perfect little sweet treat. And again, great for on the go. One thing to keep in mind is these do have to be refrigerated. So I always just pop it in a little baggie and take it as I walk out the door. Really, really delicious. And again, a healthy snack option. They also have different flavors. Again, I have the blueberry muffin. I'll definitely be trying the other flavors. Now, also from Nutrition, I grabbed some of these Behave gummies. So I have the Sour Bears and I have the actual Gummy Stars. These are similar to Smart Sweets, but I actually like some of these flavors a little bit better. My favorite by far is the Sour Bears. They are coated with this kind of sugary coating. So they're the perfect sweetness of, they're the perfect mix of sweet and sour. The entire bag is 80 calories, four grams of protein, and 19 grams of fiber, one gram of sugar. So a really good sweet treat, especially if you're a candy person like me, a gummy person. And again, I bought these off of the Nutrition website. Now I also placed a Chalk Zero order and I've been testing out quite a few things. I'm not quite ready to favorite them yet because I've only tried them a couple of times, but there are two things that I picked up in my haul that I can 100% favorite. Number one is the Chalk Zero chocolate syrup. This is incredible. It's so thick and chocolatey and rich and decadent. It is better than Hershey syrup. It does not taste like something that's low in sugar. It's so incredibly good. A serving of this is a tablespoon for 45 calories. It is so thick and flavorful that a tablespoon is plenty. It's absolutely incredibly delicious. Oh, it smells just like Hershey syrup. I don't like any of the fat-free, sugar-free, low sugar Hershey's. I don't like any of those. They all taste really weird to me, really artificial. This tastes like chocolate. It is so good. I've been using this to line my cup with my protein coffee, 
love, love, love. You can put this on ice cream, so it's a great addition as we move into summer. Oh my goodness, are these incredible? These are the Chalk Zero Royal Truffles. This is a little pack of different truffles. Think Ferraro Rocher. Think those, because that's kind of what these are. There's three different truffles in here. There's a milk chocolate, a dark chocolate, and a white chocolate. They range from 70 to 80 calories per truffle, but literally these ones in the gold wrapper, they're just like those hazelnut Ferraro Rochers. They have the most decadent chocolate with the nut in the middle. Absolutely delicious. And again, there's milk chocolate, dark chocolate, and then the silver wrapper is white chocolate love these. You'll never know again that they're low sugar. They taste incredible. And I do have a discount for Chalk Zero as well, so I'll link that for you. There's so many amazing things that they have on their website. These two things have become favorites. I'm still testing out a few more, so stay tuned. I'll share them in a future video. And last but not least for WW Foods is a protein bar. Now, I have had dive bars many, many times. There's some flavors I really like. There's some flavors I don't, but they've released some kind of fun ones for spring and summer. This one is my all-time favorite dive bar I've ever had. This is the Deep Dipped Berries. 16 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber. Now, dive bars are a caffeinated bar, so there is 90 milligrams of caffeine in here for 190 calories. So good. I have kind of re-fallen in love with Dive Bar. I did place quite a big order for these, and this one is my all-time favorite. Even though a lot of their new releases are delicious, this strawberry one, this berry one is so good. Literal chocolate-covered strawberry. It's decadent and rich, and it has that pop of the berries. Absolutely love. So I, like I said, I've fallen back in love with Dive Bar, so I'll definitely be ordering more. Great macro ratios. I love that there's a little bit of caffeine for a pick-me-up. So I will link Dive Bar down below for you as well with a discount. So those are all of my WW food favorites. Let's jump into skincare, makeup, beauty, body care, and I wanna give you an update on SEMA. So if you saw my nighttime routine video, I'll link it down below if you missed it. I was talking about how I exfoliate my skin in the shower a couple times a week, especially before I self-tan, and I've been loving the SEMA Japanese exfoliating towel. I'm still loving these. This is my new one that hasn't been opened. These are fantastic. They make exfoliation so incredibly easy. And I pair the towel with the SEMA charcoal body wash. This is for rough and bumpy skin with salicylic acid. So if you have acne prone skin, this body wash is amazing for that. It is about three quarters of the way gone because it's been my go-to in the shower. I really, really like this. I find that it really cleanses my body. Again, if you have acne prone skin, the salicylic acid in this is fantastic for that. And these two paired together, absolute perfection. And then the other SEMA product that I've been loving are these. Now these have been really, really great. If you know, I love the Kirkland brand from Costco makeup wipes. Well, they have discontinued those permanently, temporarily, I'm not sure, but they're no longer available. I don't love the Neutrogena ones as much as the Kirkland ones. So when I saw that SEMA had these, I thought, okay, this is better for the environment and this can be a replacement for my missing Kirkland makeup wipes. And these are the super soft, 100% natural, cruelty-free cruelty -free and vegan gentle face claws. So you can use these actually for makeup removal, cleansing, refreshing, and traveling. So this is what they look like and they come dry. So you can get them wet and use them to remove makeup, wipe your body off, especially while traveling. These are great because they're dry. So you can just get them wet in the sink and have a way to really cleanse your body, cleanse your face, especially if you're going to the beach, to the pool. I love these for removing my makeup. Again, you can use water with these. Sometimes I'll use my cellar water and it's very, very soft and a gentle way to remove makeup and debris. They're, and they're 100% organic cotton, cruelty-free, and they're biodegradable, which is one thing that makeup wipes lack. They just sit in our landfills where the SEMA Gentle Cleansing Claws, they're biodegradable. You get 50 of them in a box. And right here on the side, it says that you can use these to gently dry your face after cleansing. So you can use them dry or wet. So they're very versatile. I love that about them. They remove makeup effortlessly. You can achieve gentle exfoliation with your favorite cleanser. Refresh your skin with a toning mist or toner. I've used these multiple times to apply my toner toner, cleanse your bathroom, skincare tools, and makeup brushes easily. I've also used these to help wash my, when I'm cleansing my makeup sponges. Absorbs moisture and spills quickly. Used for traveling, camping, and as a sustainable alternative to single-use cotton pads. So these are a replacement for your makeup wipes and your single-use cotton pads. Love them. Love that these are good for the environment. 
absolutely positively love the size of these. You could cut these into four squares. You can cut them in half. Love these. Really, really love the make the gentle cleansing cloths. You must definitely get your hands on the exfoliating towel. This makes exfoliation so easy. And again, I've really, really been loving the charcoal body wash. So I will link SEMA down below for you with a discount, but the update is the SEMA products have quickly become a favorite. One more kind of body care thing is this from Sol de Janeiro. This is actually what I have on my shoulders. If you can see that little bronzy glow and what I have here on my decollete, this is the Glow Motions Copa Cabana Bronze oil. So this is a tinted bronzing oil. So if you don't love a tanning bed or you don't want to be out in the sun, this is a great way to get a tan look to your skin with a little bit of a glow. It smells like summer. It smells like coconuts. I love this. I picked this up at Sephora and I just love that little bit of glow that it gives to my skin. And like I said, it smells so incredibly delicious. Love this. And quickly a perfume favorite before I jump into skincare and makeup. Clinique Cappy, who remembers Clinique Cappy? This was a fragrance I loved growing up. I loved this in high school and I rediscovered this about a month ago and I love it even more. I don't know if they've reformulated it, but it smells so bright and summery. It is the perfect spring and summer scent. It's fruity, it's floral, it's fresh. I love it. I have re-fallen in love with Clinique Cappy. I'm so glad that it's still around. And like I said, I feel like they've improved it. It even smells better now. So this has been my go-to fragrance in the month of April. I do have two skincare items. First up comes from Glow Recipe, and this is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. This has been my daytime moisturizer. I really like this because it's a little bit more of a gel-like cream, so it's pretty light. It's perfect for morning moisturizer. I will tell you that it layers beautifully under makeup. It blends into the skin. It's actually the moisturizer that I have on today. It doesn't really have a scent to it, but I like a little bit lighter gel-like moisturizer for the morning and then a really thick emollient one for evening. So this has quickly become a favorite for me. I actually just reordered because this one is almost gone and I've really, really been loving this. And the other thing, you guys, this has changed my skincare. This has changed my skin. And that that is Paula's Choice, and this is the Exfoliate. This is the 0% Mandelic Acid and 2% Lactic Acid Exfoliant. So if you are, if you follow my beauty channel, I did a huge, huge, huge Sephora haul. I bought the duo of the Exfoliants. This is the only one I've used so far. This is incredible. I'm telling you, if you have texture, if you have fine lines and wrinkles, if you have dark spots, if you have aging skin, you are going to love this. I'll dab a little bit of this on gentle cleansing cloths, put it on my skin at night. So it's the first step of my nighttime skincare routine. And I'm telling you by morning, I have literal baby butt skin. It has erased a lot of the texture, helping with those fine lines and wrinkles, the dark spots. I love this. Love, love, love this. I'm so glad I bought it at the Sephora sale. I'm definitely repurchasing the full size. I'm telling you, get your hands on this. You will not be sorry. I'll actually link the light gray bottle and the dark gray toner down below. I have them both. Like I said, I've been using this one up. I cannot recommend this enough. I almost forgot one hair care item I have to share. You guys, I love this so much. This is from Dyson. This is the Cordless Corral Straightener. It's actually what I use to straighten and add this little bit of flip to my hair today. I have been wanting this for so long, but she's pricey. It's about $500, but I wanted a cordless flat iron for travel and for even getting ready in here because I don't, I have to use an extension cord from the plug-in over there to plug in my straightener. So the fact that this is cordless has been incredible. You can also use this corded, you charge it up, it charges right from the bottom. This is amazing. To, in my opinion, it's worth every single penny. What I love about it is it has a flexing plate. It's the only straightener on the market with the flexing plate. So it doesn't tug and pull and cause damage to your hair. And the heat technology of this also doesn't cause heat damage. So I've really, really been loving this. Honestly, the best $500 I spent. I actually own that air straight as well. That's what I use to blow dry and straighten my hair when I wash it. This is amazing. If you want a fantastic straightener, really truly the best there is, I can't recommend the Dyson enough. I'll definitely link this down below for you. And then I have a few makeup products. Actually, all of them I'm wearing today. Holy Grail Foundation. I am beyond 
mind blown about this foundation from Urban Decay. This is brand new. This is the Urban Decay Face Bond Foundation. This is a self-setting foundation. So if you have normal to dry skin, you are going to love this. This dries down to a powder. You don't even have to set your face with powder with this foundation. It blends into the skin beautifully. It's a medium coverage, but you can layer it for a more full coverage. I am literally obsessed with this foundation. This is my favorite foundation I have ever, ever used. It's the foundation that I have on today. I have mine in the shade 18 Neutral. I am a neutral undertone, so this is perfect for me. Now, if you have oily skin, I would still probably recommend setting with powder, but I love this. It's so lightweight on the skin. It feels like I don't have foundation on, so it's perfect for spring and summer. You've gotta try this out. It is well worth it, hands down, my favorite foundation. I'm also wearing This Is My Mascara today. This was a little bit of a pleasant surprise to me. This is the Ulta Beauty brand mascara, and this is their New Heights mascara. Now this has that little teeny tiny plastic wand. Now if you follow again my beauty channel, I always talk about how I like a good fluffy mascara wand, or do I? Or do I? Because this mascara is fantastic. The wand is small enough that I can really get in and push my lashes up, separate my lower lashes. Love this mascara. And it's from the Ulta brand. So it's affordable. It is probably one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. I would say that it's on par with my favorite, more high-end mascara, the Pat McGrath Dark Star. I'll link that mascara for you as well. This is much more affordable. I love this. I can't believe how much I love this. It came, I think, in an Ulta Beauty favorites kit, and I'm like, I'm not gonna like it at all based on the wand, and I love it. It is a fantastic, fantastic mascara. And then for my setting powder, or my setting spray today, I mean, you can see how much of this I've used, and I just got this not too long ago. Holy smokes, is this fantastic. This is Elf's Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. So this is a dupe to the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip. I'll insert a picture here for you way better than the milk. I've tried the milk. I like this better and it's a fraction of the price, $10. Versus I wanna say 25 or 30 for the milk. The mist on this is so fine. I mean, it's so, so, so fine. And it just sets your makeup in place and it gives you this beautiful dew and glow to the skin without the oil. Love this so much. Way to go, Elf. This is a staple setting spray for me. And last but not least, we always end out my favorites with my eyeshadow fa favorite of the month. And that's this palette right here. And this is from indie makeup brand Unearthly Cosmetics. Unearthly Cosmetics is my favorite indie makeup brand. Hands down my favorite brand. And this is their newest palette release, Spring Magic. Oh my gosh, do I love love this palette. It is spring and summer in a palette. It's colorful. It's neutral. It is packed with multi-chromes and duo-chromes and the most beautiful shimmery shades. I just did a video on my beauty channel testing out this entire collection, so I'll link that video if you missed it. You can see me create a whole eye look with this. There's a blush palette, a lip product. This palette is beautiful. Everything about this is beautiful. It's perfection. It's honestly one of my favorite palettes from Unearthly, and I have probably 50 palettes from the brand. Love the brand so much. So again, this is an indie makeup brand. I'll link the Unearthly website down below. I use the discount code when I placed my order, so I'll put all that down below for you. But if you want an amazing spring or summer palette, I can't recommend this one enough. So those are all of my April favorites. Holy moly, there was a lot. We had a little bit of everything. We had home, we had beauty, we had makeup, skincare tools, and tons of WW food favorites. And again, don't forget, I'll have everything linked down below for you with discount codes. Click the link, buy the product. I'll make it super simple for you. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know down below which one of these do you want to try out or which one of these products is a staple for you. And again, everything is in the description box linked for you as well as nutrition coaching. Links and discounts to my other favorite things and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Sunday, friends. Have an amazing rest of your weekend and I'll see you next time.